come on. I know I said we're not in with a chance, but I feel like we might be in with a chance, so oh, it's a bit exciting. Um, race has been delayed this weekend from Saturday to Sunday and now to Monday. So uh, Sunday now and we're going to be racing tomorrow morning, which is uh, good in, it's all because of the weather. Um, but it's a pretty good thing in one sense because we shouldn't have any clashing because uh, I don't know if there are any other feds racing tomorrow or if there are, there'll be very few uh, and far between. So we're going to be sending 12 hens and 12 cocks. We lost seven in total and then one of them came back a couple of days later and then obviously the one that returned on Saturday yesterday. Yeah, I was going to call it a day actually and leave it for the rest of the season because obviously th these young birds are my old bird team for next year. These are the uh, hens in this little box here. I've got another one there but I'm just going to send them in this because it's only a few minutes away and I need to get going. I need to be there in seven minutes um, to get them to get to the uh, clocking station. So uh, these look in good condition really. They, I'd normally bath them on a Sunday and uh, so a few of them are a bit dirty which is not ideal but um, I would um, yeah they, they've had quite a few training tosses. I think they've had four training three training tosses this week and loft flown every day but this week coming the weather's really bad. Um, we've got some some thunderstorms every day um, starting tomorrow night so this is the last break in the weather I think uh, so we've really got to make the most of it. So I was uh, talking before about um, this might be our last race because the weather forecast, where are we now? We're 5th of September and the, the, the forecast for next weekend looks really bad and don't think we're going to get a race then. It might be postponed again, but even going into Sunday and Monday, it doesn't look good at all. In theory, I've got 27 and if we drop any today, then that's probably me done for the season because I've got to have some old birds or some young uh, yearlings for next season. Uh, and this this is my yearling team. Uh, this is their fourth race of the season. So uh, they've all experienced the basket, being on the transporter, being li uh, liberated. A fair few of them have experienced being out for a long period of time and um, you know having to overnight somewhere. So if they come good today, if we get them all back and then the forecast is good for next, week um, then maybe we'll, we'll race another one um, but there's I think there's only three or four races left in the calendar and it's it, with the forecast being so bad for the week it just limits how much training I can do and if I'm not training them they're just not fit yeah so it might, might well be the last one So it's quite a late one today. Um, we start, the birds were liberated at 10 past 11, which is uh, unusually late in the day for us, but it's a Monday, so it's all a bit um, unusual, really. Um, these are the three birds that I haven't sent. One is the bird that took a week to come back, and that's the ETS ring missing. I think that's uh, son of Damien, one of Dave's. Um, so I'm glad we got that back, but the ETS is gone. Um, then we've got 1985, which was a full, um, seven or eight hours late on a training toss this week uh, and it, when it landed it pretty much collapsed on the um, on the landing board so it was obviously really tired and had been flying all day so I hadn't sent that one and then the other one is the one that we've had um, the last one that had young bird sickness and it was isolated for so long I'm gonna leave them out of the loft because I want the bob wires open so that when the birds come back they can uh, get in which I'll show you now right so uh, we've got the bob wires here and what I like to do is just have a couple of them open so that when the birds land on the landing pad there's no obstacle I want to get them in as soon as I possibly can we don't want them to be uh, nervous about going in especially if you might lose a place by a couple of seconds I'm not convinced we're going to do particularly well um, today because the birds are in okay shape they've been trained a couple of times this last week but we're not going to be uh, challenging anybody for the top positions that's for sure the other birds you could just tell when I was handling them they just they feel so much fitter so Right, so it's half past 12 and um, we're expecting the birds to start arriving in about 30 to 40 minutes, something like that. So 
two hours maybe. Uh, it's 98 miles, just, just under 98 miles I think, uh, from the Liberation site and it's a south wind. There might be a little bit of east in it but not a huge amount and it's about uh, 15 kilometers an hour I think so. Oh, I've got that sun right in my face. Yeah, great. Um, but yeah, so in about half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that should hopefully get some birds coming in. Just playing around with the camera. Is that 1983? 1983 again. Good girl. Uh, 21. That's not too bad. I didn't even see her come. Whew. Jesus, my heart's going right. I just heard her. Just messing about with the camera. And uh, I miss that. I'm just, just playing around with the camera here and um, trying to get the focus right, the light right. And uh, she didn't even see a circle. I think she just came straight in. Ooh. She came first for us out of my pigeons in the last race, even though we were miles off the pace. We're about four minutes behind everybody else. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Good guy, good. Right, see if we get any more in. Well pleased with that. I didn't see or hear anything. Normally I'll see a shadow. You, you become accustomed to just looking out for stuff like that, like shadows or flashes and stuff. Um, and I didn't hear or see anything, but I could have been preoccupied with the camera. But anyway, uh, I hope that's a decent time, you know. Come on. Come on then. Got one of the hens that come in. First one we're going into the cock section. There's a batch of four. One, two, three, four. Over there. Heading over. Here's another one. Oh yeah, That's coming good today. Might not be the fastest, but they're certainly coming together. Have we got another one landed? Come on, girls. Alright, so that's 10 back, plus the, here we go. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> it looks so cool when they took their wings in and they come, sort of just dive straight in, rather than circling and they just come straight in, which is what they seem to be doing today. It looks so much better. Oh, it's, uh, it's brilliant, brilliant seeing them took their wings in and coming straight in, no circling around, just, just coming straight in. And, uh, and not looking half as nervous, so they're obviously getting used to it. But yeah, even these late, later ones, the ones that are 10 minutes behind, they're not. Uh, I don't care I, if they're 10 minutes behind, it just looks so good when, they, when they're coming in. Brilliant. Right, so it's an hour after the first one arrived and we've now got 19 um, in. The last one's just just rocked up uh, and we're still, so we're still five missing. Ryan, not Brian, is not in there. So Archie's not gonna be happy because he didn't want me to send it because uh, of what happened with Mush Mush not turning up last week. Um, so yeah, uh, we're missing Ryan, not Brian, Zoolander um, so far. Uh, we've got to go and do the clocks in about an hour, so I've got to pick the kids up from school and then I will be um, 
and then I'll be going over to do the clock so I think our first bird might come somewhere on the on the sheet uh, but the rest of them will be way down there but you never know might be we have a chance of winning it well you see now this is why you um, find yourself constantly looking out the window after a race because it's one day later and it's six o'clock and who's arrived oh it looks like you've been have you been hawked you look a bit of a mess don't you what's happened there then coming in get a drink not you bump rough. 